Today, we're gonna do an optical illusion. Now, this is an optical illusion you can do literally with any two Starbucks cups, okay? Let's go, Chris, let's go down to the table. Here we go. Now, this is a really cool kind of, a little thing you can do, okay? You're in the coffee shop hanging out with friends, you say, watch. And the illusion of one cup passing right through the other is very sweet. Now, look, I'm gonna bring a third cup in, okay? Third cup in. And a glass and a sugar packet, okay? This, this is kinda cool, watch this. I'm gonna take the sugar packet because the illusion of one cup passing through the other was very convincing. It looks like one melted through the other. But here, we're gonna see if we can take the illusion and make it real, okay? Gonna get rid of the sugar. Gonna tear this sugar packet basically into three pieces here, okay? Like that. And look, here's the illusion. We had one cup look like it was passing through the other cup. Here, I'm gonna have this one, the piece, make it look like it melts through the cup inside. Now look, we'll, we'll, we'll do it again, look. Get another piece here, and again create the illusion. In fact, this time we'll create the illusion of the piece not just melting through one cup, but actually melting through the tops of two cups. Do it one last time, now watch. Again, we'll put this on top, put this right on top here. And in fact, look, let's have this last piece melt through not just the cups, but actually melt through the bottom of the table. That's one, that's two, that's three. And that is an optical illusion. It's been said that the cups and balls is probably one of the oldest tricks in the entire world, and I'm sure it's true. So on this video, we're gonna look at the cups and balls. This is the most organic, down to earth, and I think psychologically subtle, the way we get into it version I've come up with. I've come up with a bunch of versions. This is the most organic, down to earth. It's easy to do, you're gonna love doing it. On this video, I'm also gonna reveal the winners of last week's contest, which was for the Shine, it's been a couple of weeks, sorry, the Shine DVD. We're gonna announce, the, I'm gonna announce the 12 people who won that. I'm also gonna ask you the question of the week as well, and I'm gonna be giving away, what am I giving away this week? Uh, my envelope, envelope mentalism system. This is a, a very cool thing, a bunch of effects you can do using these special envelopes, okay? It's all happening right here and now. And here is the question of the week. Leave your comment down below and be automatically entered and have a chance to win my envelope mentalism system easy to do, lots of cool tricks. The question is, if you can make anything appear under a coffee cup, okay, you're in the Starbucks, you got the cup on the table, you snap your fingers, you lift it up, what would you like to appear under there? What would you, for you, would be the most amazing or personal or weird thing you could have appear under the cup? Leave a comment down below and be automatically entered into the contest. I wanted a cup and ball routine that could tap into really the essence of what the trick is. Way too often I find magicians, we, we, you know, we take an idea and we, you know, rather than do it once or twice, we'll do it 40 times, right? And we run too far with things. And so often the real power and the essence, something that, you know, really was the core of the wonder from the beginning gets lost in all of it. So I came up with this, this handling. And I, I like the psychology of it. I like the way it begins with an optical illusion and it is an optical illusion, and they can see, A, it looks cool, it's a convincing illusion, B, it's an illusion and they know it. So you kinda flow into this with the idea of an optical illusion, and then the optical illusion becomes real. And I'm gonna show you a few different ways to end this, uh, a few different ideas regarding the ending and the cleanup and all that. Chris, let's do it, let's go on down. Here we go, we're downtown. Okay, so let's first look at the optical illusion, and this is a really cool illusion. Uh, first, maybe it might be obvious to you, but you want to make sure that you've got the, in this case, the two Starbucks logos lined up. You can do it with blank cups, okay? You can do it with uh, just sort of the white side of cups, but it's really nice to have these visual cues, and this is a really old idea, okay? So you got the two cups. You hold one cup just by the, the rim with your uh, middle finger and thumb, and it's nice again, rather than this contrast here, I think it's really effective to have them both held similarly, and you're gonna kind of, you don't just drop this, but you kind of throw it down, and you release the thumb and finger just enough so that the bottom cup falls, and this one takes its place. 
years ago was playing with it, I thought to myself, wait a second, this would be a great way to suggest that both cups are empty when in fact you have something hidden in one of the cups. And so what I've done is I have a sugar packet. And the reason I went with this, I can't, I tried coins, I tried folded bills, I took a playing card and folded the piece and tore it into three pieces, all these things to get to this point. I wanted something where the three pieces looked identical and you'll see how this all really flows very nicely. You have this one third of the sugar packet, doesn't matter if it's the top third or the bottom third, and it is no sugar in there, it's in one of the cups. So you can start like this. You can say, hey, let me show you an optical illusion using a couple of cups. So first you flash that, they see that's empty. Okay, you don't make a big deal of it. Then you pick it up here and you can show this optical illusion a few times. And it doesn't matter how many times you do it, as long as, and it's easy for me to see at any time where the extra piece is. Once you've done it a couple of times, you go, so or you say, hey, I'll tell you what, let me take the, this optical illusion uh, to another level. We'll, 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 add, we'll bring in, another cup here. And again, I want to show this cup. This empty image starts to bleed and everyone totally assumes that all three are empty. So you've been able to conceal. Then turn them over, turn them over, turn them over. And very much like the classic cups and balls, I've made sure that the extra piece is under the middle cup. Then I'm here. And I love how organic this is, okay? I can do this all, it seems totally impromptu. Very, now I take the sugar packet, shake all the sugar down to one side, and I'm gonna tear this. The first third comes on off the sugar packet, okay? And please, fellow magicians, don't get too caught up if you're using a sugar packet, okay? Where the design isn't quite as uniform as this. Don't sweat it, it's gonna be fine, okay? And again, I wanna tear this now into thirds. And now, at a glance, these three are identical, okay? Don't sweat it, they're all identical. I grab one, I go, well, we're gonna make the illusion. So I've had one cup melt through the other, cool optical illusion, but look, I'm gonna put this on top. And I'm gonna create the optical illusion of the piece on top melting through one of the cups and ending up underneath. Expect gasps. That works, just boom, so organic. Now, of course, the other piece is still trapped in here. I'm what's called one ahead, right? So I turn this over, Put one down. This is the one with a piece in it going down. You want to move it quickly, but you don't want to go slowly, slowly, fast. Okay, so it's boom, boom, boom. So now I have two already set here. I say, look, because and what I love about this is I'm always trying to build the effect. We went from one to two cups. Okay, it looks good. It's an illusion. Went from two to three cups, building. Now we just did a real moment of magic, building. Then I say, look, I'll take one of the pieces and instead of having it melt through just the top of one cup, I'll have it go through the top of two cups. Boom. Okay, so it's building, it's building, it's building. Now, how to finish? I wanted to finish with the last piece. I want a final, uh, a final melting effect here, and I want to end clean. Now, this is all about your level of sleight of hand. For the performance here with you guys, what I did, now the piece is here. So I say, look, we'll try it one last time. I've already loaded in my third piece here. These are empty. So what I did for you guys is I said, look, rather than having going through two cups, this not even stuff, rather than going through two cups, I tell you what, let's have it. And I took the piece, I went under the table and I went bam. And then the hand came back up and I showed all three. Now, if you're working at Starbucks, you can easily take this, go under the, if you're sitting, drop this in your lap, okay? Move forward tap, come up with a hand empty, and boom, and everything can be examined, okay? It's a gorgeous ending. You've left the piece in your lap. Or, alternatively, if you're working in a bar or you're in some situation, I designed this so that the, the reason I went with this, because I used to ball up pieces of dollar bill or napkins, and they you start to get this kind of action. They start to ride a bit high and give away the illusion. But this will work pieces, this will work with literally any size cups. Even if they stack very tightly, this will still work. So it's a really organic approach. So the final one, what you can do, of course, is take this, go underneath and drop it on the floor. If you're standing up, for example, at a table, you can go underneath, drop it on the floor, uh, and you can even put your foot over it, okay? Just in case someone's gonna look underneath later on, you can be standing on the piece. Or you can take the piece, go underneath, tap, come up like this, and I've got it thumb pumped, okay? So that way, I get to go boom like this, got the drama of that, come away like this. Last comment, of course a stir stick, right? You can easily have this in your pocket. 
with the last piece, take this last piece, do a false transfer, apparently putting it in your hand, right? Go into your pocket here like this, tap here, tap here like this. Last piece vanishes. Boom, all three, and again, everything can be completely examined. Just a very, very pretty, a uh, very organic version of the classic cups and balls. Oh, and one last comment. I know you, my fellow Magi, I know you guys, you're gonna be saying, but wait a second, Jay, what happens if they compare the pieces and they see that these maybe three don't perfectly fit? First, stop worrying about things, okay? It doesn't matter. Second is you can always, at the end, if you're worried about that, you can just take the pieces, pick them up, and crumple them up, okay? Treat them like garbage, no one's gonna check. Third, of course, if you wanna finish, makes sense, is to take, take the pieces, squeeze them, okay? Maybe even use a little hot air or something. Squeeze them, and you can have, of course, you can completely uh, restore the, the packet back together complete with the sugar. Here they are. Without further ado, the winners of last week's Shine Coin Magic DVD, okay? This is great for beginners, great for intermediates. It's a whole bunch of stuff on this. You 12 have won. And as always, if you won, if I read off your name, if I read off your name, send an email, please, to my team at contact at sankeymagic.com. Send an email to them, let them know that you won. Hey, give them your first name, your last name, and your shipping address. And we will ship out to you the Shine Coin Magic Collection that you just won. Here are the winners. We've got Paul Kresge, Tim Brangle, Edward Fregiri, Henry D, or Die, just D-I, Card Trick Kid, with two Ds, Todd Whalen, Roger Wang, Tom Pereira, P-E-R-R-A-R-A, -R -R -A -R -A, Tom Pereira, Shelley Utley, that's U-T-L-E-Y, Jason Brown, Hans, or Hans, Hans Otterman, and Pete Williams. Congratulations. And don't forget to leave your comment down below. Answer the question. If you could make anything appear under a cup in a Starbucks, anything at all appear, what would it be? Leave your comment down below and you will automatically be entered in and have a chance to win one of 12 of my Omnilope Mentalism System.